Hey, what's up everyone? It's Asad here. Welcome back to the 52 Cards channel. In this video, I'll show you an awesome color change, a double color change actually, where you're visually changing two cards at the same time in just a really impressive way. It almost looks like a camera trick sometimes, but uh, it's not, it's just pure sleight of hand and there's a lot of fun to do. So let's go behind the card table and I'll teach you how to do it. This video is brought to you by 52cards.com. If you want to learn more about card magic, visit the website to access a full tutorial library for free with hundreds of more lessons that are neatly organized by difficulty level and category. You can also check out our shop to find premium designer playing cards from all of the top brands, which are perfect to practice and perform with. All right, let's uh, break this thing down. So just to make this easier to follow, I'll go ahead and pull out the same cards that I'm using, which is two black aces and two red queens. Now, uh, here's the uh, setup, the situation that you're gonna be in when you first start. The fourth card from the top is gonna be an ace and it's gonna be face up. It's gonna be reversed, followed by a face down ace, followed by the two face down queens. Okay, so you're in this situation right here and then you need a pinky break beneath that four card block. I'm gonna dive into a lot more detail later in this video, but first let me just kind of give you the basic concept here. And uh, I'll first show you the, the easy method you know, kind of how to learn how to do this with training wheels. And then um, I'll show you the kind of the more advanced, more visual way of doing it, which is what I did in the intro clip. Okay, but here's the super easy way or the much easier way of doing it. You're gonna start off by thumbing over the first card, thumbing over the second card, flipping them over on top of the deck. You square them up. You're gonna re you're maintaining that break, that four card break the entire time. And then this is still a really great change. It's just not um, as visual as it could be, but it's um, it uses the same exact concept. So what you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna pick up on that four card break, you slide the topmost card to the left, and then I'm gonna stop like right around here when the remaining three card packet right here is sticking about halfway outside the side of the deck. And then from here, I'm basically just doing a triple lift. I'm pulling those three cards out. I'm treating them as if they're a single card. I flip it over on top and then immediately, boom, I, th I do the change. Okay, so let me, let me just uh, break that down just a little bit more right here. Uh, we're in this situation right here. You're, you're sliding, and then uh, once I'm in this position, I grab, and then the timing of this thing is like this. I come over, I flip it over, and then immediately you do some kind of gesture, and then you thumb over the top card, flip it over, and at this point, I'll pick up both cards and I show the back of them. It's a really clean change and uh, it ends very clean where you can just, sh it, it looks like there's really nothing to hide. Now there's a little bit of something to hide because the second card from the top of the deck is gonna be a queen and it's gonna be reversed. So you don't wanna flash that. You can always just kind of do a block pushover and then spread the rest of the deck. Um, but at this point, you're, you're pretty clean. You're very clean. Now let me um, talk about the more visual version that I did in the intro clip. It's the same exact concept, but instead of doing a triple lift on top of the deck, we're doing a different move known as the paintbrush color change. Okay, so um, in practice, let me just give you a quick breakdown of what that's gonna look like here. You're in this situation again. Now instead of doing this, uh, I grab it a little bit differently. Again, I'm gonna dive into further details on the exact finger positions and whatnot in a second, but let me give you the general concept. I'm, I'm grabbing from here, I'm still sliding that top card, but now instead of just doing a regular turnover on top of the deck, a paintbrush color change allows you to, to basically turn this three card packet over while holding on to the last remaining card, and it does it just extremely fast. So it looks like it just instantly changes. And it's just a very uh, interesting and startling and, and impressive way to change two cards into two entirely other cards. So if, let me break down the paintbrush color change first because this is normally done, it's most commonly done with just two cards. And um, once you learn that, then you can kind of uh, move on to you know this double color change. So go ahead and pull out an ace and pull out a queen. Now I will say when it comes to a single color change where you're changing just one card into another card, the paintbrush method isn't my favorite. You know, I like the shapeshifter, I like a few others better. Um, but when using it in the context of this double color change, this paintbrush method is just one of the best that I've come across. So let's just start with doing it with just two cards first though. So 
you have a two card break here, you're gonna push them over, and all that's really happening here is I'm applying pressure in such a way where the card is flexing right here, and then I'm applying pressure in a way where this this card, this face card, is basically being snapped back on top of the deck and it's being flipped over in the process. And when you do it uh, with the right speed, uh, it can look quite good, just like an instant change of one card into another. And uh, it's gonna be the exact same concept when you're doing it with three cards. So in the context of this double color change, once again, we are going to be in uh, this position right here. You're gonna pull it out and then this is a three card break and it just looks really good. Now, let me give you some tips on how to do this paintbrush color change um, faster and uh, in, in just kind of a smoother way. Now, the way that I've normally seen this thing taught is you have the two card break and you're basically getting into a position like this, okay? Where you're creating a bit of a flex and then with your right thumb, you're pushing this card to the left just a little bit well in this position you're really just pushing it down and that's what that's going to do is because you're flexing the card like this it's going to cause it to snap back now personally i like to do this a little bit differently um, you can try both methods and see which one you like more but i don't have this left edge of the card in this position what i personally like to do is i actually have this left edge more to the side of the deck it's like somewhere here and then i do the same a similar pressure but because you know you're on the side of the deck here like it has a more of a snappy effect in my opinion um, and it just makes that snap back a little bit faster and it's just uh, that was a bad example right there and it's but it's just nice it's a nice feeling in the hands too the way it snaps when you have that left edge on the side okay so now let's go back to this double color change that we're talking about here we're gonna be in this position and okay, so let me dive into a little more detail on how to actually pull out this three card break here. So the way I do this is pay attention to my finger positions. I have my ring finger plays a pretty key role. It's on the back edge of this packet. Okay, the back right edge. And then I have my first two fingers that go underneath and I'm in this position, thumb at the top, I'm pinching the corner there. And then with my left thumb, I'm peeling off a single card. Okay, so this right middle finger, it helps me keep these three card, this three card packet aligned. I don't want any separation here. For, if there's a separation, that's gonna break the illusion. So I'm just peeling off with my left thumb. Once I have that separation, now I, I pinch the bottom right edge of this three card packet, and I start to pull that card out. Now, when I pull it out, I'm also applying a little bit of pressure downwards because I wanna hide the fact that this is three cards. Now, you only, pulling it out for a brief moment. So you, you shouldn't feel too nervous about this, but I do try to just maintain some good habits and I, I apply a little bit of pressure down to make sure that those three cards don't separate. Um, so I, I'm kind of like going down into the right like this. And then once it's already out or once it's completely out, I bring that left edge to the side of the deck somewhere about this position. But once again, you might want to experiment with that on your own and figure out what works best for you. But for me, like, yeah, it's like right about there, right around the side of the edge, or the side of the deck. And then, in this case, because we have a three card break, I'm pushing the two cards, the two cards that are closest to the face here, out like this. But at the same time, I'm applying this pressure to the right, and it's gonna cause this snapping effect. And ideally what happens is these two cards, they, they snap, they flip over, and they land perfectly square on top of the deck and it's just a very instantaneous change of two cards into two completely different cards and uh, it can look extremely good and then once again you end really nice and clean you thumb over the next card you show both sides and then as long as you don't flash the second card from the top of the deck then it's just it's just a perfect illusion All right, pro tip number one. Once you're done doing the double color change, you're now in the perfect position to do it again, if you so wanted to, because now we have that queen reversed forth from the top. So it's just the same exact process. You show 
the aces cleanly and then you just move in and do the exact same thing again sometimes in magic it's nice to take things back to where they began um so that that's just something you can play around with or another uh, idea is maybe the first double color change you do you do the easy method with the triple turnover and then to change the cards back then you do the more visual method with the paintbrush change All right, pro tip number two is dealing with uh, establishing breaks when you're dealing with a reversed card. Okay, now the first step of this color change is to get a pinky break beneath the fourth card of the deck. Now, the brute force method of doing that would be to kind of just riffle up the back edge of the deck with your thumb and then visually spot four cards and then catch the break there. Not a great method, but it works. Uh, an alternative method, which is better, is to use the pinky count to count one, two, three, four cards, just like that. It's a nice one-handed method. I use the pinky count a lot. Um, it's my, usually my preferred method for getting a break. I'll drop a link down below for the full video on that. Uh, however, in this case, we have a reversed card, which makes getting that break underneath that card a lot easier. Because what happens is, with the reversal of that card it comes a natural separation so if you look at the back edge of the deck you'll notice that there's i'm not holding a break right now but there's naturally a separation there because there it that face up card is curved a little bit differently than the face down cards and so that allows you to very easily get the break all i have to do is kind of feel that spacing right there and then i just pull down on the rest of the deck and then i can get a pinky break that way Okay, so you don't need to do any counting or anything like that. It's just kind of a feel thing. Or another example is if I just, with my right hand, try to pick up the top few cards of the deck, it's naturally going to pick up all the cards above that separation. Okay, so just try it out. You'll see that it's very reliable and uh, just a very convenient way of establishing a break um, in the context of a reversed card. So, um, yeah, hopefully that helps you out in the preparation of doing this color change. Pro tip number three, this is also dealing with breaks, but this time we're talking about the, the hiding of a break. So we, we're starting off this color change with a break beneath the top four cards of the deck. What can happen sometimes um, is that break will have a tendency to show up on the front edge of the deck, which is bad. See that little gap right there? That's something that we want to avoid. So there's a few things that can be done to uh, prevent this. First tip is you should have your thumb resting on top of the deck and pushing down slightly. And by doing so, it's gonna kind of close that gap. From the back, you're still you know holding it, no problem. But from the front, it's gonna avoid that from showing up or it's prevent that from showing up as much. The second thing you should do, because you're not always gonna be in a position where you can have your thumb pressing down like that. Sometimes you need your thumb on the side of the deck. So a secondary thing that you ought to do is Get in the habit of keeping your first finger curled around the front edge of the deck and covering that corner right there, okay? Just like that. So those two things will help you uh, keep your breaks as secret as possible. Pro tip number four. Uh, the first step of this double change, double color change, is to get the fourth card from the deck secretly reversed. Now, you can just do that manually ahead of time, but I'll show you a way to get this card uh, secretly reversed, you know, kind of in an impromptu fashion while you're in the midst of things. And um, it's not like a fully angle proof type of thing. It's not the type of thing that you would do when people are looking directly at the deck. It's something that you would do kind of, you know, while you're talking and, you know, you're looking them at their eye, they're looking at you and uh, you're just kind of fiddling with the cards. That's the context that you want to use this in. So the first step is you want to get a pinky break beneath the top four cards, and we're going to be reversing this fourth card. So here is the, the method for that. You're going to grab the four cards from above in an overhand position like this, and then you're going to be, you know, again, while you're just playing around with the cards, maybe you riffle, you're talking to them, they're looking at you, they're not looking at the deck when, while you do this. And it happens very quick. You just don't make it super fast just make it casual smooth uh, like you got nothing to hide you're gonna slide that four card block down like this okay notice how my left hand my wrist turns so now these two uh, packets are perpendicular to one another and uh, at this point i'm contacting this bottom ace with the tips of my left fingers 
okay? And I'm pulling on it. I'm pulling on that one card like this. So for a brief moment in time, this is the position that you're going to be in. At this point, I'm now going to return the remaining three cards back to the position that they were. But I'm folding this bottommost ace in. And that's happening under the cover of the remaining three cards. And at the same time, I'm turning my left hand wrist back over, getting back to where we began. And now you have that card reversed. Okay, so it's just a, it's a nice little move. Um, and that can be used in the context of, uh, you know, a number of different places, but it's kind of nice for, for this color change, especially, but it would look something like that at speed. Okay. Now you're not getting the best angle, but at the front angle, it, that reversal process is going to be covered with those right hand cards. All right. I hope that was helpful. Hope you liked the move, like the trick. And, uh, if you liked this video, please do hit that thumbs up button. It helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe, hit that, bell, <laughs> hit that bell notification for future videos. And as always, if you wanna learn more card magic, if you wanna pick up some awesome decks of playing cards, go check out 52cards.com. Till next time, I will see you later. Peace.